Hi, I'm the Bachelor Farmer Cook, and this is Prep Class. Now, I know I promised we'd go jumping right into Pico de Gallo in this part, but I was reminded that we're dealing with jalapeno peppers, and I wanted to go ahead and give you a few words of caution when it comes to cutting peppers. Um, a lot of your peppers like habaneros, jalapenos, serranos, anything with spice and heat, you want to make sure and use a completely different cutting board because we don't want flavor contamination. You don't want to get those spices crossing over into other dishes accidentally. And I'll tell you a little story about that after, after I show you the proper way of treating the peppers. Now the jalapeno pepper and the other peppers that you're going to be dealing with, there are two options depending on how brave you are as an individual. So let's jump right in. Like most of our preps, we're just going to cut off that top part because we're not going to use it. We'll go ahead and discard that. And then you're going to try and find the elven boot shape. Um, all peppers have sort of a symmetry and you want to try and kind of find where that center is when you're cutting it in half. Now here's where the preference option is. Most recipes in uh, professional restaurants or at home, they call for de-seeding the peppers. And what this does is it makes it milder, but believe me, it doesn't make it any less spicy. It takes it from about, hmm, this is about four billion spice. Taking the seeds out takes it down to about 400 spice. So it's still spicy, it's still tasty. I know there's a lot of people out there who pride themselves on being able to eat super spicy things. Those people might probably leave the seeds in. But for most of the rest of us and for standard consumer-based recipes that call for peppers, go ahead and seed them. And you do that like this. You just very simply get your finger in there and just pull all the seeds out. And you'll go ahead and discard them. Again, we're just getting right under that pulpy matter. And we're just pulling that out. And that goes for a large majority of all your peppers. Getting rid of the seeds will take the incredible spiciness out of it. Now another word of warning, this is not one when you want to go accidentally touching your face or licking your knife. Um, right now you have the oil residue of the spices on your cutting board, on your fingers, and on your knife. And the way I know that is that I was at work one day I made myself a ham sandwich for lunch. I was working on a recipe that required jalapeno. Did not wash my cutting board, did not wash my knife, did not wash my hands, cut my ham sandwich into fourths, ate one, stuck a piece in my mouth, chewed on it. My mouth was on fire. I was running around the kitchen shooting flames out of my mouth. And both of the prep cooks were on the floor laughing at me because they thought it was the funniest thing they'd ever seen in their entire life. I didn't think it was as funny, but looking back on it now, when they look at me and go, si, si, no jalapeno, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can laugh at it now. Okay, so when dealing with jalapenos, um, more than likely the recipe will call for it to be minced. So mincing is, and this, this method is a lot like bell peppers. Once you get it cut in half, you're just wanna gonna go straight down the line and cut it into tiny little strips and the thinner the better, um, because with peppers, you want to get that spice evenly distributed. By doing that, you use a specific amount of pepper, but you do it very small, minced style, so that a lot of it goes a long way. It gets spread out. So it's not going to be on fire, but it will be tasty and tasted in every little part of the recipe. So the thinner you can get these strips, the better. And then on this little cut, your cross cut, which is kind of like dicing, but because you're going to cut it, because you're going to cut it so small, we call it mincing. But it's essentially very tiny dicing. Okay, and now we have our diced jalapeno. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to instantly transfer it to another bowl. And this is the most important part of the entire process. Before you do anything else, wash your cutting board, 
Wash your knife, wash your hands. Don't touch your mouth, don't touch your ear, don't touch your nose. Everything will heat up and turn on fire. <laughs> and remember, if you get this part wrong, you're gonna run around the house and everyone's gonna laugh at you. But that's okay, that's part of cooking. We enjoy that part. So until next time, this time I mean it, we are gonna do pico de gallo. Be good, be good at it, and stay out of my cooler.